The age-old question. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? We've all answered this with a variety of different answers. Some people would want to fly, teleport, turn invisible, read minds, etc. The source of our ideas for superpowers can be traced to movies, TV shows, comic books, and popular media alike. I mean, who wouldn't want to be Superman, Spider-Man, or The Flash? Let's face it, in comparison to what our imaginations hold, normal humanity is bleak. Unless you're one of our guests. For today, we have 10 people with superhuman skills. Sit tight for our number one. They could be watching. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Rebecca Sharik. Photographic Memory Have you ever heard of a photographic memory? The ability to remember literally anything we see is a trait we've all envied for. Whether to use it for next week's exams, remembering instructions, or important details we skimmed over, we've all wished we had photographic memory at least once in our lives. For Rebecca Sharik, however, this is no mere wish. This is reality. Equipped with an incredibly extensive long-term memory, Rebecca can retrieve thoughts in vivid detail as early as 12 days old. Yes, days. In a blog post, Rebecca described what it was like being a newborn infant and being carried by her father. Rebecca is one of 60 people in the world with a condition called HSAM, or Highly Superior Autobiographical Memory. But incredible long-term memory is not the only feat she is capable of. Rebecca is also capable of reciting the entire Harry Potter series, and that's eight books for a total of 4,224 pages. Recalling information for a simple exam is far beyond her scope of practice. However, HSAM is a double-edged sword. While Rebecca is capable of recalling information and events decades prior, she does not have a choice in what she remembers. Every event is captured and stored whether Rebecca wants it to or not, including the embarrassing ones. Number 9. Joy Milne, who can smell disease. Bit of a strange superpower, but hey. A superhuman sense of smell is not the most popular choice of superpowers. With being able to smell from greater distances, one can only imagine the different wafts of scent that would be found with one's nose. Sure, smelling the neighbor's fresh oven-baked cookies would be nice, but you also would probably smell the county dump as well. Yeah, not exactly the best trade-off. What if your superhuman nose was a little more selective and could pick up much more important scents? Perhaps if someone had a deadly disease, even? Joy Milne fits the description of that. Joy found out she possesses an incredible ability when she first noted that her lifelong partner and husband started having an insufferable odor. She was constantly reminding him to shower at random times during the day, even when no one else could smell it. Not long after this began, her husband was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, which is an awful disease characterized by loss in motor control and memory. But it was not this diagnosis that pieced it together. Having difficulties managing the disease, the two went to a support group for advice specifically on Parkinson's. Here, many people came together in an effort to help manage their own cases of this degenerative illness. This is when it first struck Joy. Entering the room full of other Parkinson's victims, she could not help but to note the exact same musty odor that randomly began to come around her husband. Joy realized she could smell Parkinson's disease, as weird a sentence as that is. To test this, Tila Kunith, a researcher from the University of Edinburgh, conducted an experiment where he had several people who have varying degrees of Parkinson's wear a marked t-shirt for a day. Some were pretty early, some were in later stages. Kunith then had Joey smell the shirts and indicate the degree of severity. With uncanny accuracy, Joy was able to correctly dictate which shirts belonged to each person by just smelling it, which to me is pretty incredible. Number 8. Alex Hanold, Free Solo Climber The fear of heights is prevalent in our society, including for me. Elevated platforms strike a deep-seated fear in multitudes of children and adults alike. The idea of tumbling down to your certain demise paralyzes people with fear, and rightfully so. Conquering this fear is a colossal challenge in some of our lives, and liberation from it is extremely rewarding. Alex Hanold is a free solo climber who was the star in the popular documentary Free Solo, where he ascended El Capitan, which features several vertical walls thousands of feet above its base. Free solo climbing is pretty much rock climbing, except you don't have the luxury of certain tools such as hooks, boots, and, well, safety ropes. Typical rock climbing utilizes a combination of some or all of those tools to help ensure safety during the ascent. For free solo climbers like Alex Hanold, their incredible willpower and control of their emotional fears enable them to confidently ascend these monoliths of nature. 
While being a free solo rock climber is not exactly a superpower as there are many like Alex Hanold, but Hanold is unique in his ability to throw caution to the wind and harness the fear of heights. Number 7. Arthur Benjamin, Math Wizard We've all been there, whether we were successful or not. You're stuck trying to calculate some sort of multi-step math problem in your head because you're too stubborn and prideful to write it down or pull out a calculator. Whether it's simple addition or long division, completing arithmetic in our heads is very often a burdensome task. Not for Arthur Benjamin, though. Renowned for his ability to complete complex mathematical equations within the confines of his brain, Arthur is what people refer to as a human calculator. During several TED Talk events, Arthur showcased this ability on a widely publicized platform. These performances include calling for a group of people out of the audience to raise him in performing mathematical equations. Not exactly fair considering he is a mathematician after all. His ability to perform calculations is extremely adept compared to his peers. To even the odds, each of these audience members are equipped with calculators. Now the tables have completely turned in favor of the guests, am I right? Well, think again. Like an actual math wizard, Arthur took the numbers called out from the crowd and handily beat the calculator-wielding audience members. Arthur took no time to figure out the answers as he hastily wrote them on the board before they could even finish typing out the equation. Number 6. Rajmahan Nair withstands electric shocks. Resistance in electrical engineering is a system's ability to withstand an amperage. Essentially, anything capable of conducting electricity has a resistance. Your body has a resistance to electricity and can only withstand so much before allowing the current to pass through your heart. Anything more and you will certainly face the possibility of cardiac arrest. Shockingly enough, no pun intended, Rajmahan Nair's resistance is 10 times greater than that of an average human. While even a percent of one ampere can kill your average person, Rajmahan is capable of conducting several amperes without any harm. Number 5. Joe Cameron, who doesn't feel any pain. How would you describe pain without using the word pain? It's strange how certain things in this world inexplicably cause us pain just by coming into contact with our bodies. For someone like Joe Cameron, describing pain is quite literally impossible. Why is that? Because she literally can't feel it. After undergoing surgery, Joe turned down painkillers meant to help ease her recovery. Her doctor was shocked considering Joe was 65 years old and just underwent an invasive operation. How could she not need painkillers? This is due in part to a rare unidentified genetic mutation in her DNA. This mutation has led Joe reporting a lack of pain throughout her entire life, including childbirth, which he describes as a tickle. Number 4. Isao Machi, Modern Day Samurai. It's a well known fact that the samurai were master swordsmen. Their ability to wield their katanas brought about stories and fables that have been shared throughout generations. Their existence has inspired many normal people in the modern day to pick up the art form and learn the way of the samurai. Isao Machi is not one of those though, and he's not normal either. While most people who practice swordsmanship as a hobby, Machi channels his distant ancestors and showcases his skills, earning the status of a modern day samurai. Katana in hand, Machi has made astounding achievements in the world of Leido. As one of his premier feats, Machi set the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to a thousand sword cuts. In 2007, Machi performed 1,000 rolled straw mat cuts in 36 minutes and 4 seconds. Some quick math will tell you that averages to one cut every two seconds. Maintaining that pace for a total of 36 minutes is easily a superhuman ability and something you pretty much only see in an anime. Or Samurai Jack. Number 3. Dean Karnazes, Superhuman Endurance. Running a marathon is not a taboo activity. Millions of people every year run marathons in an attempt to push themselves further physically and mentally. Many people run marathons on an annual basis for leisure, competition, or even both. Less people, however, run a marathon more than once a year. Even less people run more than one marathon within a six-month span. Whether or not you're an avid runner, we can all agree it takes a ton of dedication and energy to run a marathon. However, for someone like Dean Karnazes, a marathon is literally a walk in the park. Dean Karnazes possesses the incredible attribute of superhuman-like endurance. In 2006, Dean completed his 50-50-50 challenge. That is 50 marathons in 50 cities within 50 consecutive days. Dear lord, that's a lot. We just discussed the demanding feat that it is to run just one marathon, but for Dean Kamazes, that's a morning workout. 
Over the course of 50 days, Dean successfully navigated several courses in each state with the help of marathon directors to ensure he was on the right course. And it wasn't enough for Dean. Upon completion of his 50-50-50 challenge, Dean set out to run from New York City, the final location of his Marathon of Marathons, to San Francisco, where he lived. Unfortunately, Dean was not able to complete his trek and elected to finish early in St. Charles, Missouri. Despite the early finish, Dean still ran over 980 miles, and I don't think anyone could knock him for that one. Number 2. Hopfer Julius Bjornsson. Superhuman strength, and I apologize if I mispronounce your name, sir. One of the most revered superhuman abilities is superhuman strength. Who wouldn't want the bouquet of different feats one could accomplish with the help of strength beyond your imagination? The ability to lift heavy objects such as cars, trees, and houses is heavily coveted. And for some people, like Julius, it's within reach. You may recognize this man from the immensely popular series Game of Thrones. His size and strength are showcased, rightly dubbing him the nickname The Mountain. However, some fans might not know, but he is actually a multiple time winner of the world's strongest man competition. At nearly 7 feet tall and over 440 pounds, he is the largest of all the competitors and is capable of deadlifting over a thousand pounds. And that's more than two times his own body weight right there. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Wim Hof, the Iceman. The human body can only withstand so much time in freezing temperatures. The physical integrity of our tissue begins to dysfunction and our cells die if exposed to freezing cold for far too long. That is, unless your nickname is The Iceman. Wim Hof is an extreme athlete best known for his world record breaking feats. Utilizing a special holotropic breathing method, Wim Hof is able to withstand extreme temperatures for durations previously thought to be impossible. One such feat includes climbing 23,600 feet of Mount Everest with nothing but shorts and shoes, and summiting Mount Kilimanjaro also wearing nothing but shorts and shoes. Withstanding extreme cold temperatures is not his only ability, though. After a round of his breathing technique and an 80-minute ice bath, Wim Hof was assessed for his immune system's response. A blood sample showed reduced proteins associated with an immune response. However, when injected with an endotoxin meant to induce an immune response, Wim showed no symptoms indicative of this endotoxin, which means Wim Hof is capable of resisting infections to a higher degree than most. Well, everybody, that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe click on some of the videos on the screen and maybe also hit that subscribe button if you're feeling a little generous. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.